Aloha, my name is Dr. Stephanie Hahn, and today what I'd like to do is talk to you a little bit about the five steps you need to write your divorce story. This is to write your divorce story for your legal or your personal file, and I'll tell you why you should write it for both. Of course, with your legal file, you need to have clearance with your lawyer to insert it, but it's very important because otherwise often your voice as a woman is not heard. You must remember that the structure of marriage and the very laws that we live under were not designed to center our bodies or needs as women. Given that, it's important to have our story be part of the larger story of our divorce, right? So these are the steps. Number one, write your thesis statement. This is probably the biggest thing that you will have um, problems coming up with, perhaps, because the thesis statement is the big idea, the reason that you're getting a divorce. You're not getting a divorce for a small reason. Usually it has to do with some aspect of your belief system being violated, some code that you have that has structurally been changed as a result of events or beliefs or whatever. So this is what you have to put forth, your thesis statement, okay? Your thesis statement should be simply one or two sentences. After writing your thesis statement, step two is writing a little bit about the early days of your relationship, how you met, under what circumstance, what kind of person were you? What kind of person was he or she? What was the situation that drew you together? Okay, so this is a very short, brief paragraph. Mind you, if you find yourself feeling sentimental, like, hmm, maybe I better think about this, you're not ready to get a divorce and don't do it. Because people very rarely remarry after divorcing. So if when going down memory lane, you find yourself caught up in the moment and suddenly realize, oh no, I don't wanna do this, that's fine. You have to be perfectly confident about doing this to move ahead. So step one, thesis. Step two, your early days. Step three, you write about your background. That means that you're writing about your family background. Often what happens is during the course of our marriage or even in terms of who we pick as our spouse, we're replicating what is similar or wildly rebelling against what is familiar. And that is what is familiar is what has happened before, relationships that have seemed um, common to us, feelings that have been brought up before. And this often is what happens maybe when you choose your spouse. So you need to reveal a little bit about the kind of person you were, the household situation. What was it like for you growing up? Okay, again, another paragraph or so. So step one, thesis. Step two, early days. Step three, your family growing up. Step four is gonna take up the bulk of this divorce story. And this is going to be the paragraphs, the evidence that supports your thesis. This is the reasons that you are deciding now to divorce, okay? So you have a thesis statement at the very top of this. And step four will be mini paragraphs detailing the reasons, the circumstance, the events that have led you to this divorce. Step four, really, this is the bulk of what you're writing, and it can be some, you know, pages and pages, whatever you want, whatever you want it to be. But make sure they read as paragraphs, complete little paragraphs. So you're making little stories, understand? Step five is at the very end, and this is all the financials, okay? And you put this at the end. Who paid for the vacations? What about the car loan? What, what about the money you borrowed, the house, the property, any of that kind of stuff? Who made more money and when? Um, all that stuff goes on the last couple pages. You don't have to have the account numbers and all that stuff perfectly recalled. You're going to have to do that for legal. This is really more of a discussion that lays out all the, the machinations and the navigation as you are going through the divorce. You're looking at what needs to, what was the property, what was the capital that needs to be divided at this point, 
okay? Because remember, divorce and marriage are both business agreements and you are dissolving, in essence, your business agreement. Yes, there are feelings and it is personal and it is a marriage, but in the end, a lot of this is going to come down to the business arrangement. And so that is the last part of the, of the divorce story. Now, why I have it at, there at the last part of the story is you will probably get sick of repeating this divorce story over and over again to counselors, to therapists, to your lawyer, to whoever, right? What you simply do is you hand them a hard copy, should you so desire. And if you don't want people to see all the details of your financials, simply rip off the last two, last two pages or any other page. So it becomes a document that can work for you on a personal level, for your personal file, as well as potentially upon your lawyer's clearance for your legal file to give um, the people deciding the circumstances of your split a little bit more of a background about who you were, where you were, what you were, and all that other kind of stuff. So I hope this is helpful to you. Again, step one, thesis. Step two, your early days. Step three, your family situation. Step four, paragraphs to support the thesis statement. And step five is the financials. Make this come in under 4,000 words. You don't want to hand in anything that goes on for thousands and thousands of words. You might feel like that, but really, if you're going to do it for legal, bring it in and under you know 4,000 words, 3, 000, 3 to 4,000 tops, right? Judge does want to keep reading. You don't want to keep writing like that. If you want to go on longer, that's great. Make another version for your personal file and you store it. Because what you have to remember is this. The situation of the divorce and the situation of the marriage will follow the status quo ideas of what marriage and divorce should be. These are ideas and belief systems that were founded primarily by men, were patriarchal, and yes, were enforced and upheld by women. So unless you write your story down, the story that stands will be the story that is most familiar to people who are used to navigating, which is pretty much the whole world, in this way of thinking. So you wanna keep this as part of your file because what you wanna do is make sure that your story is the one that stands for you, okay? So that's it. If you want any more tips, please hit subscribe and subscribe to my newsletter at drstephaniehahn.com, woman warrior writer, writer. I'll be giving reading, writing, creativity and health tips and I look forward to seeing you in class or on the line in some other capacity. Cheers and aloha, have a great day.